So I think a lot of um, things and people and resources that want to explain ADHD as being like a, you just have to focus harder, you have to try harder, you have to focus, you have to do these things, like, um, or saying um, it's a defense mechanism, like, excuse me, your brain has learned to respond this way because of blah, 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 blah. I think there, there's elements to that, I'm like, yeah, that, there's some clarity to that, that. and I think, I think like a week ago I'd have been like, yeah, like that's, even if I do have ADHD, like I can, I can focus harder and I can do this. But what I've realized the last, like the last couple of weeks have been rough, right? Um, and like, I love caring for the little one. I love doing noonday. I love advocating. I love the church stuff I'm doing. Like I love the things that I'm doing, but I have been, and I love the homeschool class I'm doing, but I have been struggling. And I think where medication comes in is that medication allows your brain to have that break. Um, it allows you to maybe get relaxation for the first time ever. Um, and I think it allows you to actually do these things. Um, I think with willpower, like emotional eating with willpower, you may not just be able to stop emotional eating. And I think if it's from ADHD, for me, I've, um, like I get migraines. And so sometimes like blood sugar stuff will affect my migraines. Um, I am actually now wondering if my emotional eating, um, cause I gained a lot of work weight after, after the little one was born. I was really sick during pregnancy and then I had lots of migraines and I ate a lot and took a lot of caffeine, um, then didn't sleep, all that. I and mean, I still haven't lost a lot of the baby weight. I've lost like 20 pounds of what I only gained after he was born, but I still have like 50 more to lose. And, um, I, possibly, probably is the goal. But, um, and my biggest challenge, I'm still nursing a little bit too, but my biggest challenge has been emotional eating. Like, like I just eat, um, and I, like I'm considering, I'm still considering like relief from migraines to be emotional eating. But with the medication and learning about ADHD, I'm like, oh, um, a lot of what I'm doing is seeking dopamine. And there's a good chance that my emotional eating has more to do with dopamine and relieving some of like the, the migraine headache pressure. Like it's kind of a weird thing. It's not necessarily a migraine, but like it's a weird type of headache. Um, so like a lot of emotional eating, what I've been calling it emotional eating is possibly to get that dopamine fix. And, um, and since I've been on medication, it's just been like three days though. So I mean, I'm not like versed in it. Right. But, um, I mean, but I'm noticing that like, I don't need, like I'm little, like, so anxiety too has been better. Um, <laughs> anxiety has been better. I've been like more patient, just like lots of little things have been changed. Um, and I don't know if other people would notice necessarily, but I think the, the toddler would notice if he could tell you. But on, um, yeah, the eating too. Like I think, um, I don't think just responding and being more attentive, attending better, will solve your emotional eating or will solve your inability to organize and clean and declutter. Um, that's another thing. Like decluttering. Um, I don't know if it's like it's like an hour twenty minutes timeline is, is legit. Like I don't know time. Um, but so I spent like an hour, 20 minutes, somewhere in there, um, cleaning the art studio. And I've been working for about six months, like diligently trying to get it tolerable. And it, it, it took like an hour. It, it happened. And so like, so yeah, you can try to focus better, attend better, like do these things. You can keep working on it. If you're like me, you've been working on it for 30 years. Well, probably more like 10, 15 years. Um, but like you're not going to see the changes most likely. So anyway, that's, and this is re responding to something that a friend said me. I love you. I love you um, to the friend. Um, but I think that's my response. I don't think it's, um, yeah, I, I don't, a week ago I would have looked at that and been like, yeah, this makes sense. Like I can do this. And I would have tried it for a week and saved it and then never come back to it. And it would have, I, nothing would have changed, um, more than like an hour worth or like the five minutes after I listened to it. Right. Um, and I'm not saying like, and, and I'm not saying like you, I don't know what, if you have ADHD, right? For the friend specifically, but, um, but anyways, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think the, the medication, um, has been good. And I think there's, um, I, I'm all about natural stuff. But I do think that, um, if someone has ADHD and they give the medicine a try, um, at least the one I did, it was a, it was a short, quick release, short term one. Um, it, you'll know pretty quickly whether it's ADHD or not. And, um, 
yeah, the medication has made a big difference for me already. Just um, like three, four days. This is my fourth day in it. So. Day, day four. Day four on... Oh, yeah, nap time. Okay, I'm going to finish getting the kid finished eating.